What is up guys? There is this new visa route announced by the government of UK which enables you to come and live and work in the UK without the need of writing an IELTS English test or proving your English proficiency. Yes, you heard me right. This new visa route does not require English proficiency and the beauty of this visa route is that it enables you to travel together with your family to come and live in the United Kingdom. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what this visa route is, what the eligibility criteria is, and most importantly, I am going to be sharing with you some jobs because I've done my research. I've searched for jobs from companies which are here in the UK, which are willing to hire you from overseas and offer you visa sponsorship. So you want to stay tuned to the very end. No comparison. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, magic. Sassy, moody, nasty. Acting stupid. What was happening? What was happening? I'm a savage. So guys, a lot of people want to come to UK and it seems like a lot of people seem to be concentrating only on the health and care worker visa. Guys, it's not only the health and care worker visa which can enable you to locate to come and work in the UK. The beauty about the United Kingdom is that it is constantly opening its borders to people who are overseas. Of course, they do complain about, oh, we are receiving people from overseas. But the honest truth is that there is always critical shortage in certain areas. So guys, this visa pathway that I'm going to be talking about, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talking about this visa route. But what I've also noted is that they also add a grain of salt in the information that has been shared out there. Because I've had people coming to my DM asking me things like they've had information off of YouTube that they can actually relocate to UK under this particular visa route to come and work as cleaners guys let us not feed each other lies i mean uk is good shortage but it cannot hire you from overseas to come and clean honestly sponsoring someone from overseas to come and work as a cleaner honestly no ways guys so the visa route that i'm going to be talking about in today's video is called the religious worker visa this is a very good visa route because it's a visa route which enables you to come and live in uk for at least two years without the need of writing ielts english test so this visa route guys what you have to know about this visa route is that it is a temporal work visa most of the temporal work visas they want you to come to uk maybe for at least six months to 12 months but this one that's why i'm saying it's good because you can come for a good two years and it is extendable should you wish to extend it you can extend that visa the only downside of this visa route is that it does not lead to settlement since it is a temporal work visa but the advantage of it is that unlike other temporal work visas like the seasonal worker visa this visa route enables you to relocate with your family if they are eligible so why am i saying this is an advantage if you come under this visa route say for example your husband gets a job as a religious worker here in uk and you relocate with him to uk once you are here in uk guys you can search for any other job as the spouse you can search for any other jobs i know a lot of people want to use this skilled worker visa route you can now explore those options of using the skilled worker visa route. Let's say, for example, you wanted to locate to UK as a caregiver. Once here in UK, you can look for a caregiver job under the skilled worker visa route. And if you look for a caregiver job under the skilled worker visa route, it means even if you come as a dependent, you can be able to get your own visa here in UK. And once your husband's visa lapses or it finishes or whatever term you want to use, he can switch to your visa as a dependent. Do you see the advantage of it, guys? Even if it does not lead to permanent settlement, if you are a couple, it should make it easier for your partner to look for any other job. They can get their own visa. They can get a skilled worker visa. And once you are done with your temporary worker visa, you can switch to a skilled worker visa as a dependent because obviously if you are a dependent they cannot chase you out of the country when your visa is expired you can automatically become a dependent to your wife so this is a visa route which is worth exploring guys so what is the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria is that for starters you need to be 18 years of age 
i know a lot of people have been saying oh you don't need experience and all those things guys i do have jobs which i'm going to share with you and i'm going to show you what it is that they want from you this visa route is not for everyone like what everyone else is saying that the visa route is for everyone this visa route is for people who are religious right so for example in one of the jobs that i was looking at they clearly state that you have to love jesus christ there is no way where they interview you and ask you do you know jesus christ and you say or is it that man who killed goliath in the bible or something like that you need to be religious you need to know your scriptures you need to love jesus christ that is if you are coming in as a christian remember guys it's not only christians who are religious so why i'm saying it's not for everyone is because it depends on what you believe in you can be a christian you can be an islamic so which means if you are using this visa route there's no way you can be a Catholic and you want to go and work in a Seventh-day Adventist church. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? You have to be religiously affiliated to that church. If I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, I can apply for a job in a Seventh-day Adventist. For example, one of the job ads clearly stated that you need to be fluent in Yoruba. So if you speak Zulu, there's no way you can apply for a job where they clearly state that you need to be fluent in Yoruba. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? So this visa route is not for everyone. It depends on which church you go to or which religion you are affiliated to. So you are basically going to be looking for jobs in your own churches. There are different organizations, guys. You will see some of the organizations that I'll come and share with you. So obviously these organizations they do state what you're going to be doing in the church or in the organization of which i'm going to share with you anyway and i will not share everything some of the organizations i'm going to leave the links in the description box so that you check them out yourself and if you meet the eligibility criteria you apply so let's move on with the eligibility criteria you need to have depending on the organization some organizations will fully sponsor your visa I mean, some churches have got lots and lots of money. Some churches are rich, guys. And if you are using this visa route, be rest assured that there's nothing like they're going to rob you of your heart and cash because these are people who are upright. You know, you cannot be a Christian and not be upright. So we're talking of people who are upright, people who are not scammers, people who are, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys. So they can sponsor your visa. They can pay for your flight tickets. They also pay for accommodation. And the most important thing is that if you are using this visa route, you can be paid good monies. It's a temporary work visa, but you can be paid as much as one of the jobs clearly states that they will pay you 18,000 pounds per annum. And 18,000 pounds is a substantial amount of money. If you come and earn that 18,000 pounds and your wife comes and works as a carer and earns twenty thousand pounds per annum you've got good monies understand guys so it is a visa route which is worth exploring but you have to be a religious someone in the event that they do not sponsor your visa you would need to have proof of funds there is one organization where i saw that they clearly stated that you need to be able to sponsor yourself to come to uk meaning you have to pay for your visa and you also have to have proof of funds in your account which are going to show that you're going to be able to sustain yourself when you're here in uk and most of the time proof of funds is 1270 pounds in your bank account for at least 28 days and then you pay for your flight tickets and then you relocate to uk people have got money out there i know this money that i'm talking about is not a lot of money i mean if you look at the health and care worker visa road people have been paying ridiculous monies to relocate to uk so if you are using this visa route you are only providing your proof of funds which means you are going to be able to sustain yourself here in uk and they're also applying for your visa and they're paying for your flight tickets which is not a lot of money guys considering the benefits that you're going to get because some organizations you live in their accommodation for free like you live in church houses for free or if it's not for free, it's at a subsidized amount so where you pay very little money towards your rent. And in terms of qualifications, it again differs with organizations. So I'm going to be sharing with you these companies which are hiring from overseas. And guys, before I dive into the companies hiring from overseas, please do me a favor. Can you smash that like button? 
so that this video is recommended to other people who be willing to relocate to uk under this visa route and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos for now let's get into it the first show is an evangelism leader and this is a temporary religious worker christ apostolic church which means you have to be a member of this church guys and this church is located in london so they said that christian religious worker vacancy for one to be able to assume this role these are the compulsory requirements it is an occupational requirement that the post holder is an evangelical christian who has the ability to self-sponsor which means you are going to be sponsoring yourself to come to uk the post holder will also undergo dbs check this is a criminal check guys everyone goes through a criminal check before coming to uk you have to be passionate about your relationship with god and so forth and so on then it goes on to say you have to wholeheartedly affirm whatever the church believes in faith including our view on baptism live a lifestyle consistent with scriptural principles and then the job description includes strengthening and developing discipleship ministries in multicultural setting adapting current and future teaching ministries onto the online platform assist ministry leaders by helping them create achieve their objectives and teach share and preach the word of god so guys like i was clearly saying in the video that you need to be passionate about jesus christ you need to have your love for jesus christ and believe in god for some of these roles because there is no way you want to undertake a christian role or someone who's supposed to be preaching scriptures when you are clueless about who jesus christ is and you don't have a relationship with them so it's important that you identify as a christian as you can see they go on to say you have to have a love for the lord jesus christ ability to speak at a christian leaders meeting experience trainer of christian leaders vocational christian and church ministry experience a good understanding of diaspora communities so guys i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you check it out for yourselves but you can see that the salary is 18,736 per annum and you can benefit by getting a UK visa sponsorship and so forth and so on. And take note, they say interviews will be conducted immediately. The next role is that of a religious scholar. Arasa Foundation is a UK based charity registered both with the UK border agency and a rated license sponsor under tier 5 religious workers the foundation holds an annual basis research program during islam months of muharram as an integral part of these programs we currently seek a religious scholar from the jafera school of thought shia branch of islam to lead these programs they state that our preference is to source a uk national religious scholar settled worker however the role is also open to any overseas applicants wishing to apply so if you are willing to apply and you are under this religion guys you can apply and the minimal salary that they promise you is nineteen thousand pounds per annum so the rest of the jobs guys i'm going to leave the links in my description box so that you check them out see what the eligibility criteria is but take note there is nothing like you come relocate to uk to be a cleaner no one can sponsor you to come and clean here in uk there are so many people who can clean even church members can clean i mean we do that in my own church we do go over the weekend we clean for free because if you're a church member at times you tend to do charity work you go and clean the lord's chapel or you go and clean the lord's church or you go and clean the lord's mosque whatever whatever your religion is so there's nothing like you relocate to uk to come and work as a cleaner i hope this has answered your question the person who dm'd me asking me if they can come to uk to be a cleaner under religious worker visa route 
no you can't come as a cleaner and no you can't come as any other skilled worker like you're going to be doing a skilled job like accountants like it or things like that if you want to be an accountant if you want to be in it if you want there is a skilled worker visa route for those jobs and you can only come to uk through a skilled worker visa route your church cannot hire you from overseas to come and be an accountant under the religious visa route guys there is nothing like that and believe you me i'm not shooting other youtubers but i believe in giving you authentic information so that when you're making decisions you make informed decisions because in this channel we keep things real we don't sugarcoat anything we want you to know the reality on the ground we do not want to deceive you or lie to you we want you to have authentic information so guys this is all that i wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching do smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in my next video bye